So I finally watched Tyler Perry's Mia Coupla on Netflix. Why would she record this? I don't know, Mia. DNA found in one of your paintings. It's enough to bury your ass. A snake is never violent when stalking their prey. It's only when they get right into striking distance that they become very violent. I'm best believe when I tell you guys that the movie was just a lot, which to an extent was just unnecessary. But then again, it's Tyler Perry. You know, writer, director, producer. Guys, at this point, I feel like Tyler Perry needs to really chill, you know, just take a step back and let other skilled writers make an impute on his stories, you know? Now, tell me why I'm in the middle of a therapy session with my husband and as soon as his mom calls, nothing else matters. Like, this guy automatically begs to leave. In the middle of therapy, like, I don't get I mean, I get it. It's your mom's birthday. But you went ahead to sell my piano just to buy her a Rolex. Guy, you don't even have a job. At least you could have asked me first. Let's not even go into details about his mother's wigs, which I thought were really hideous. I can't even get over the sex scenes in this movie, even though that was more like the cherry on top. Can someone explain to me why Zaire, mm, Zaire Abina Zaire, who had been accused of murder, the guy was just so chilled and unbothered. Like the only thing this guy cared about was shagging. Oh my God, like he didn't even take a shower. After shagging the other girl, he literally just moved his penis from this other girl and straight into me. Ew! Oh my goodness, like bacteria, infection, all these things. And what was that waist swelling thing about? Like, bro, it wasn't even that deep. I mean, Mia Kupla is an entertaining movie, no doubt. But going by the plot, it's just a no-no for me. There were just too many plot holes in that movie, which kind of watered it down for me. I actually thought it was a remake of the movie Addicted, but then this time with a lawyer and an artist, okay? Of course, you know, seeing Kelly Rowland and Travante Rhodes together was kind of like the zen moment for me in this movie. In fact, I think that all the actors brought their A-games, but the storyline was just a problem. Guys, have you seen this movie on Netflix? Like, what did you think about it? Did it give you a headache? Because for me, I had so much headache. Yes, I was entertained, but I felt like, you know, Tyler Perry can do better, okay? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done that already. And of course, I'll see you guys on another movie review with Bertha. Bye!